Last year alone, Google announced that YouTube Shorts received 50 billion daily views. Yeah, 50 billion. So if you're looking to hop on Shorts or increase your views and gain more subscribers, you'll want to take notes. Our first tip is to upload your short on your phone, but optimize it on your desktop. And this is one of those trust the process moments. So first, upload your finalized short to your YouTube app on your phone and publish it unlisted. Now, head to your desktop and open up the video in your YouTube studio, like you would any other video. And here's the fun part. Once you're in edit mode, you'll notice that you have access to so many more optimization tools and features than you do on your phone. These optimization features will ensure that you're giving your short the best chance possible to reach the right people. We recommend filling up as many tags as you can and utilizing SEO browser extensions like TubeBuddy or VidIQ to gain even more keyword insights. Next, hook your audience with scroll stopping video motions, animations, or sound effects. Most creators know that in order to get your viewers' attention, you need to hook their attention. But a hook isn't always about what you say in the first few seconds. It's also about what you show. This is something Dr. Lee has perfected in his shorts. Retinol ban coming out of Europe. People are saying retinol is now banned in Europe. Here you can see he zooms you into focus with animations and sounds. And not only does this hook the viewer, but it gives the creator more authority by commanding your attention. If you're just getting started with video editing, we recommend playing around in CapCut and learning about transitions and sound effects. Pro tip, if you're looking for a similar sound to the example we showed you from Dr. Lee's channel, just type in whoosh sound effect in the CapCut Sounds search bar. Our last quick tip is to tap into YouTube Shorts trends by staying on top of the YouTube Trends page. We often see TikTok and Reels creators jump onto Shorts and attempt to use the same techniques they use to grow on those channels on Shorts. The reality is that YouTube Shorts is a unique platform in and of itself. And by seeing what's trending on Shorts natively, you can create Shorts specific content. You can do this by green screening a reaction video, putting a unique twist on a trending sound, or sharing a hot take on a trending topic. And that's it. Let us know if you found these tips helpful or if you want us to dive deeper into YouTube Shorts. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more social media tips and tricks. We'll see you later.